The margin for error is so small, I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that inch. When we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. <laughs> That's awful. Absolutely awful. There's going to be some loud music out there. There's going to be people questioning play calling, personnel grouping. That's not going to go away until you fix it. It's not. And we sit with the quarterbacks and the head coaches every week. And when we sat with Tom Brady, we've done this for a lot of years, Tom was tight. He was aggravated. He was not happy with the way things are going offensively. And you see it, this is as frustrating as I've ever seen Tom Brady in Washington since 2000. He's struggling himself, and they've got a long way to go to solve their problems on offense. They're not running the ball, they're not pass protecting, they can't stretch the field, and here's Jimmy Garoppolo. Weak team, the New England Patriots, let's face it, they're not good anymore. Yeah, but we're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. What do you think having a 37 year old? We're on to Cincinnati. It's nothing about the past, nothing about the future. It's right now we're preparing for Cincinnati. I can be beat. So how did that just feel? Feel great. Poetic justice. We know we were a much better team than we came up and represented ourselves. And we were, we were off. We was ready to come back and show us kind of defense, what type of team this was, what kind of character we had. We take a lot of slack. People gave us no chance, like we barely made it in the playoffs. We're a good football team. It looks like this team played with anger all day. Why, Bart? For all you non-believers, disrespect us, talk crap about the defense, like we're the third best defense in the league. All we hear is about their defense. They can't stop a nosebleed. 25th in the league, and we the one to get disrespected. <laughs>
was it like seeing the Pats lose to the Giants in the Super Bowl and the Jets in the AFC playoffs? Well, that, that's always tough, you know. Always a lot of rivalries, and because uh, the games are so close, and you know uh, the offense walks off, they're winning, and it's a couple of those those catches that were made, but just still like wow, it's hard to watch even now, you know. Mm. Uh, not gonna lie, I cried. David Tyree caught that ball on his helmet. Cried for about two hours. So. What was it like seeing the Pats lose to the Giants in the Super Bowl and the Jets in the AFC Championship? Uh, not gonna lie, I cried. David Tyree caught that ball on his helmet. Cried for about two hours. So. What was it like seeing the Pats lose to the Giants in the Super Bowl and the Jets in the AFC Championship? Uh, not gonna lie, I cried. David Tyree caught that ball on his helmet cried for about two hours so what was it like seeing the Pats lose to the Giants in the Super Bowl and the Jets in the AFC Championship uh, not gonna lie I cried David Tyree caught that ball on his helmet cried for about two hours so what was it like seeing the Pats lose to the Giants in the Super Bowl and the Jets in the AFC Championship uh, not gonna lie I cried David Tyree caught that ball on his helmet, cried for about two hours, so. look like Tom Brady again today, baby. And I went out there with my teammates, and we made Tom Brady look like Tom Brady after you guys were criticizing him all week. The fans, everything, and it feels so good, and he's such a leader. And he went over 50,000 yards today. He's an unbelievable player, and I'm so glad to play with him. We're certainly not big on individual stats around here, but 50,000 yards, Tom. Tom Brady again today, baby. And I went out there with my teammates, and we made Tom Brady look like Tom Brady after you guys were criticizing him all week. The fans, everything, and it feels so good, and he's such a leader. And he went over 50,000 yards today. He's an unbelievable player, and I'm so glad to play with him. We're certainly not big on individual stats around here, but 50,000 yards, Tom. Overall thoughts on Brady and Belichick? As long as they're together, we're still going to be winning. Um, quite a run. I um, hope it keeps going. It's really, um, I can't think of anything like that that long since I've been around in Boston sports. I mean, it's been, like I said, almost 17 years, so it's quite incredible. And uh, hopefully it keeps going for as long as it can. Anybody doubt Joe Flacco right now? Hey, can we please turn up? Please? Come on!
got room. Ten, five, he's in. That could be your ball game right there, folks. That could be it. Look, fellas, it's just about doing our job. Just cover your man. Do what you're supposed to do. We're trying to make too many plays, and we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Super Bowl. Congratulations to the AFC champion, New England Patriots. Jim, I only have one thing to say. We're on to Seattle. It started seven, eight months ago, right? All for this moment. It's about honor. It's about respect. We win this game, you're honored. Your kids are honored. Your families are honored. We got three. One, two, three. Julian 
Second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. Russell is taking his time. Russell Wilson extends the hands he has. Wilson, quick throw. And it's What was your reaction to the Malcolm Butler interception last Super Bowl? Man, it was great.